Hi, in this video we'd like to talk about a very special topic uh, known, about, known as the MRKH syndrome, Mayer Rukitansky Kuster Hauser syndrome. Now, this rare disorder is a congenital abnormality where the patient has an absence of the uterus, cervix, and also parts of the vaginal canal. They are congenitally absent. Sometimes they are partially present as well. So certain parts of the cervix or the vaginal canals are still there. But in general, it is a congenital condition where the patient is naturally born with this abnormality. Now this disorder occurs in 1 in 5,000 women. Only 1 in 5,000 women will experience this. And the main cause is because during embryogenesis, uh, there is some abnormality in the fusion of the Mullerian ducts that actually led to this, uh, this uh, MRKH syndrome. So for these patients, something very special is going on. Now because the ovaries and the fallopian tubes do not uh, originate from the Mullerian ducts, they are still perfectly intact. And also they are also very functional, which means these patients will have secondary sexual characteristics, which means these women will have develop uh, pubic hair and also uh, breast development, fat distribution. They, are, they look very normal uh, outside, but when you take an ultrasound, this is how we diagnose, when you take an ultrasound, you will see that there is a either partial or complete absence of the uterus, cervix, and also upper parts of the vaginal canal. So MRK syndrome, uh, in general, there is two types. Type 1 is just the isolated uh, abnormality within the reproductive system, which means it's only missing these three parts. But MRKH part, type 2, uh, which means there's an additional component, which means that there's problems with the kidneys and also some skeletal system, because all of these also originate in the Mullerian ducts. Uh, these are the two types that we will see, but the first one, type 1 is the most common one, where 67% of MRKH syndromes belong to. So the primary symptom of MRKH syndrome is primary amenorrhea, which means they will experience no uh, menstrual cycle, no menses since the early age until all the way until into their adult lives. Now this is one of the key ways that we use to diagnose patients who have MRKH. Uh, they have primary amenorrhea and also they will have uh, unexplained infertility. If you have unexplained infertility, uh, patients with MRKH syndrome cannot get pregnant. It is impossible to, for them to carry a child because of the absence of a uterus. And then another symptom that we also see is that they will have difficulty in engaging in sexual intercourse. And also they will have some pain involved during this uh, sexual intercourse. But the key diagnosis cr criteria is that they will use uh, ultrasound and then also the check if whether or not they're having primary amenorrhea. So the cause is that we know is because of the Mullerian ducts abnormality, but this is definitely a genetic disorder, uh, without a doubt. Although we don't really understand it very clearly yet because of how rare it is, but we do know that there are certain genes that play a key role, and there are many studies that are still uh, working on uh, solving this problem, but we do know that it is inherited uh, that a gene that is passed down from generation to generation. So we already talked about diagnosis for treatment of this condition. Here at Anti Hospital, Dr. Chen Feng Ling, uh, 15 years ago, he has already uh, invented a highly specialized surgical procedure using 3D laparoscopy. And the main procedure is known as the reconstruction of the uterus cervix and also upper parts of the vaginal canal. And then he will be using small intestinal submucosal grafts. So these uh, intestinal tissues are smooth muscle tissues, which are very similar to the uh, uterine muscles as well. So we will make, we'll be using the intestinal tissues as a graft to actually make artificial uterus, artificial vagina, and then artificial cervix. So upon uh, receiving treatment after surgery, after recovery, uh, we see patients that they can actually experience orgasm during sexual intercourse. They can have a normal sex life and then they can also uh, menstruate regularly just as normal uh, women do. And then some even do go to get pregnant 
and have live births, which means they can have full term healthy pregnancies. Although this is not always the case, but we can definitely guarantee that they can have normal sex life and begin having normal menses. So this definitely can increase their quality of life. But for uh, uh, those who cannot uh, get pregnant, we can still uh, help you to using IVF or even considering surrogacy. These are all management methods. So here at the hospital, we offer you this highly technical, highly specialized treatment procedure that you cannot get anywhere else. A lot of doctors cannot do this surgery because it's highly technical and requires experience. Anta Hospital has been doing this for the past 15 to 20 years and it's all thanks to Dr. Chun Fong Ling for discovering and actually studying this condition. Get in touch with us if you'd like to find out more information, also leave me a comment down below.